Welcome back in, everyone. Well, a crime that shook the entire Auburn community Friday night. An armed robbery suspect shot an Auburn police officer multiple times, took off, and then continued to fire at officers at an apartment complex with hundreds of students and citizens around. A man who police say caused terror throughout the city, but thankfully ended that night. It all started when a call came in about an armed robbery at a pharmacy in the 400 block of North Dean Road. Police were then on the search for the suspect's vehicle, a silver Jeep Liberty. Officer Justin Sanders spotted the vehicle near the Dollar General on Opelika Road and pulled the suspect over. When Officer Sanders approached the vehicle, 38-year-old Christopher Wallace opened fire, shooting the five-year Auburn Police veteran multiple times. Officer Sanders was rushed to East Alabama Medical Center, and that night, was thankfully in stable condition. The most important thing here is the well-being of that officer. And uh, we're just very, very uh, blessed and fortunate that uh, he's doing better. Wallace with an unidentified woman took off and hid inside a relative's apartment on Stonegate Drive off of Wire Road. Multiple law enforcement agents were involved and surrounded the apartment complex as SWAT went in. Wallace then opened fire on the officers and officers fired back. I heard a loud, loud bang we and then gunshots. We like took cover and there was multiple rounds of gunshots. We just scared like we didn't know what was going on. Residents who are also some students were told to evacuate and run across the street to the Auburn Veterinary School to get out of harm's way. Just scared like we didn't know what was going on. Um, they came to the door, they came in, asked if we were okay, if anyone was in there. And we said we were fine and they told us to run across the street. And we were running, they were shooting. Easily heard, easily heard at least 100, 150 shots. It was really scary. It was, was nerve-wracking. The SWAT team then threw tear gas into the apartment where Wallace was in. The apartment then caught on fire and Wallace and the unidentified woman died inside. This individual posed uh, danger to the public. Uh, you know, we're uh, thankful that it's over at this point and the threat has ended. Officer Sanders was flown to UAB to have additional surgery, but is expected to be okay. Auburn police wanted to thank all the multiple law enforcement officials that helped Friday night and thankful Officer Sanders is off to a speedy recovery and no one else was injured or killed in this horrific crime. And just a couple other things to note. Wallace's relatives got out of the apartment once the gunfire started. There were two of them. One of them was Wallace's uncle, and they were detained, but they were not charged. The investigation is ongoing with the Auburn Police Division, Opelika Police Department, Alabama Law Enforcement Agency, Lee County District Attorney's Office, and the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force. Wallace was also a person of interest in his wife Lisa Wallace's disappearance in 2012 in the city of Eufaula. He was interviewed extensively but was never charged. He did, though, have other charges unrelated to her since. And back to Officer Sanders, there's a GoFundMe page set up to help with his medical expenses. We'll have that link on our website. That's WLTZ.com.